called Set to Achieve. Welcome to yet another video. And today I just wanted to talk about, you know, something that is kind of trending. Um, and it's about the 55 year old man that was laid off from work after 12 years. Okay. All right. And um, please, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and like, subscribe, um, share, you know, and leave your comments. Okay. Um, leave your comments and just let us know about your maybe nine to five situations and you know if you have ever been laid off and what was was the scenario or the circumstances surrounding it and how long you were there okay so um i'm gonna go on to the video i'm gonna quickly play the video and i'm gonna come back who i started out with the the people that i were close with that were already laid off before i was laid off they didn't really move around that much so um the people that seem to, you know, be able to stay at this company and move around, or they know somebody high up. Um, and, you know, I didn't. So um, I knew that I should be um, leaving that company. I, I kept complaining to my family for like five years, you know, I'm going to get laid off from this place. I'm going to get laid off from this place. I'm going to get laid off from this place, you know. And they were like, oh, no, you're not. No, you're not. And I was like, you do not know this company. <laughs> you know, and I still didn't leave. So now I feel really stupid. And, you know, I, th and every, but when I first got laid off, I thought. All right, yo. So um, if you were to go into the video, and I'm going to leave a link to that video so you can watch it. Um, but it's very sad because, um, the man had worked in this company for about, I believe it was like 12 years. And um, he had seen all these different signs and seen a lot of people in the company departments, you know, that he, you know, that were around him um, or in the company um, that were laid off. People were laid off all the time. And, um, you know, I, I just was saying to myself, like, you know, because myself, I am an entrepreneur. Um, you know, very much an entrepreneur. I used to have a nine to five in healthcare, but I left that um, because it just was not me, it was not a good fit. Um, I wasn't happy and I was very, um, very, un I, I was very unstable and, and it was depressing, okay? So uh, fast forward to today, uh, I am an entrepreneur, I'm an independent contractor, and I'm actually, um, you know, moving forward into like other uh, ventures and, um, you know, but I will come, I will, you know, I, I will, as you know, things progress, I would speak on it, you know, but this man saw the writing on the wall, you know, and, and how many of you are at your workplaces today and you see the writing on the wall? You know, I, I always preach that people should try to make money outside of their nine to five work. That is important for us to not depend on this nine to fives because this nine to fives do not owe us anything, okay? They, they can just kick you out anytime, you know? I, I mean, think about it. Even if you are renting a place, okay? Um, like, for example, um, there used to be a, a place that, um, you know, my husband were separated now, um, you know, and I, we, we had, I mean, um, there was a place that we were keeping the the truck because we had a like a trucking business well, well it was more like his his trucking business because he was the one doing um all of that um but there was a place that he was keeping the you know the truck right and just like we had like a maybe like a one month warning you know because we were paying like you know a monthly um you know amount i think it was like 200 to like to put the keep the car in their garage you know or in the space you know like he had a parking space and then they had like the remote control fence and it was just like just all of a sudden like we had like maybe like a month or so and they sent us a um you know basically a notice saying that uh, we had to vacate the place because the owners were selling the place right so and it was like oh my gosh you know, we had gotten comfortable. It was almost a year or so that we had had the truck there. And it was like, okay, where do we go? So, you know, so I started doing a lot of calling around to places, you know, and things like that, you know, to see, okay, where do we actually park this truck? You know, we had parked it in some places like in a neighborhood, like in some parking lots that, that it seemed like it was okay to park, um, you know, large trucks, you know, or semis. And, um, you know, it got ticketed like 250 
you know, and, and it was just like, oh my gosh, like, so it's almost, like, and, and I, I used to joke around with him and say that like, you know, when your truck is homeless, like you're homeless, you know, but I mean, you know, it's like, eventually we found a place to, to park it and it was like in a truck, and it was in a church parking lot, you know, and you know, that was just like God, you know, and, and um, you know, the amount that we paid was a, a lot less than, you know, the amount, like half the amount that we were paying um, to park the, the truck at the place that the, the former um, garage, truck garage. But, you know, what I'm saying is that when you are, you know, under somebody else, whether it's renting, whether it's a job, you know, because think about it, with a job, you're only renting a time period, right? You're getting a paycheck. They're, they're asking you, okay, you know, every day from nine to five, you do certain responsibilities, you know, and every two weeks or so, we will pay you, you know, for those responsibilities that, that you are supposed to do, whether answering emails, whether, um, you know, attending to clients, customer service, whatever it is, you know, and everything. But it's like, you are basically fulfilling somebody else's dream, okay? And they're giving you a, a very tiny cut out of that, okay? But I, I believe that the wise way to do this, you know, and, you know, as a child of God, the, the Bible tells us to, that we should be wise as serpents, right? You know, so, so we're supposed to be wise, right? So that money that we're getting while we're there, it's not for us to be comfortable and to just like, you know, just fold our arms and just, just let life keep passing by. So if you go back to this 55 year old, he said he was there for 12 years and he kept seeing the writing on the wall, people around him. And even sometimes people in his department, if you watch the whole uh, complete video, and, and I said, you could go ahead and watch it after you watch this video, but people in his department were being fired. You know, people around were being fired, but he stayed there for 12 years and he, now he feels stupid because now he's, he's, he's stuck and, and, and basically his mindset is, um, because at 55, his mindset now is, well, get another job and, um, you know, w you know, work till he retires. But it's like, okay, well, you're 55 and, and you were, were, you were fired. Oh, but it's like, you know, I don't think that because insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and hoping for different results. You know, maybe he might, it might not be easy for him to get another job, you know, or, or anything, but it's like, would you want to go and get another job knowing that, you know, it's so easy for them to lay you off, you know? So people are actually put out and they're homeless a week or a month after, okay? So why not start a business? I know everybody's not, um, you know, business savvy or, but it's like you have to start from somewhere because there is no way, you know, that you're gonna keep doing the same thing. That's insanity, right? Keep doing the same thing and hoping and praying for different results, okay? So I, I just think that, the wise thing to do is to always, even while you have that job, while you have that job, you should practice or, or try to find a way to make money when you're not at work. So on your weekends, it's not a time to just, you know, lay about and for some people just, you know, drink and, and just have a good time or it's a weekend, right? TGIF. No, it's a time to be strategizing, you know, and working on your side hustle, your side business, right? So that when your job does lay you off, which they will, it's a guarantee, you have something to hold on to, right? So when that job lays you off, which they will, you're not stuck, right? You're not completely dry, right? Left high and dry. Right, you have something to, to 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 fall back on. Right, you have passive income. You have you have cash flow. Right, that is a dream, because if you're depending on that paycheck to pay your mortgage, to take care of your kids, to to feed you, to to uh, uh, pay for your car note, right, and then you lose that job. I mean, for a lot of people, it's back to negative zero. I mean, it's back to negative one hundred negative 1,000. Some people are completely, you know, wiped out in debt. They're completely, it's like back to square zero, right? It's not even square one, right? So, you know, I, I think it's important when, you know, we are hearing these things, you know, to actually, well, some people are just programmed, you know, and they're just programmed to just get that nine to five and just work that nine to five. 
But um, it, it's like, like I, I had a, a a client. She's no longer my client. Um, but she once told me, you know, that because I, I think she's like um one of like the the bosses in her um place of work that she's been in for like five six years, and she told me that like, you know. There was a time that like they were kind of like you know her bosses her upper management were kind of acting funny you know sending you know emails about like her or just doing some underhand stuff you know and, and it made her fearful that she would lose her job and she was telling me that she hasn't had asthma um since she was a child but the asthma and the panic attack started coming on because why her mortgage is being paid by her job okay her car note is being funded by her job. So if she, think about it. If you've paid your mortgage for all these years and you lose that job and cannot make certain payments, even if, even if okay, the mortgage is 30 years and, and you paid for maybe 25, 15 years, you know, consistently and you lost that job and couldn't pay for a year, wouldn't your house be foreclosed on? So all that money that you have paid into that house will be down the drain, Right? Because you're depending on a paycheck to support yourself and your family, to feed you, to pay that mortgage, right? So you, you all it will be back to square one. You all are going to be homeless, right? Because the bank, because that house is not yours, right? You don't own that house. You own a loan, right? And when you're not able to pay that loan anymore, guess what? The lender, which is a bank, is going to come back and take their property, right? So... When you're funding your life by that nine to five, okay? So somebody else is controlling how you fund your life. Then they can take it back very easily. You know, it's been said that whoever is feeding you has the right to, what, to, to stop feeding you, right? It's the same thing, all right? So we have to be smart about how we live our lives, okay? In this economy, in this current time, we can... You know, it's no longer a um, a luxury or it's no longer, you know, to say like, oh, okay, you know what, um, you know, you could just have that job. And it's no longer just something that you can, you know, just, just do and just stay stuck on, right? It's no longer an option to, to, to have a side business or a side hustle, right? It's, it's now something that has to be done. Right? It's something that has to be done because we're seeing the writing on the wall. Tesla fired 10% of his workforce. Okay? And, and, and somebody that, that worked there was crying, saying, don't, don't they know that we have bills? Don't they know? Didn't they know that we have, you know, family? Didn't they know? But the thing was, when you were working there for the past five years, didn't you know that you, you can potentially be fired? Didn't you know that you could potentially be laid off? Okay? Didn't you know that it, it was just a matter of time? You know, what were you doing? What, how, how were you strategizing besides putting some money, you know, away in a savings account? What were you doing to create that cash flow? What were you working on? What were you, because it's like insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and hoping for different results. What were you doing? What were you working towards? Or you were hoping that the job would be there forever? Right? So, so it's time that we wake up, right? It's time that we wake up, okay? It's bad enough that, that we go down, but it's worse when we take our children down with us, our families, our spouses down with us, right? Because of bad planning, right? Not having foresight, insight, not taking heed to what is happening around us. The 55-year-old man said that he felt stupid, Right? He kept seeing the warnings, but he kept ignoring it. God was showing him, right, that th this, this job is, is not loyal. They're firing people left and right. And he stayed there for 12 years because, of your, because he was in his comfort zone. How many of you are in your comfort zone? You're comfortable, right? For a lot of, for a lot of you, your comfort zone is your downfall. You're too comfortable, Okay? Stop being so comfortable with the paycheck and, and, and just understand that this is temporary, okay? I have to be working because when you have your own, your own business, your own side hustle, okay? Nobody can take that away from you. 
except you decide to stop. When I was working with nurse and nurses, and I had that degree, and I had that certificate, and I had that uh, a license, right? I was still very uncomfortable. I was still very uncomfortable because I, I, I knew that, hey, it was always in me to have my own thing, okay? I don't want to depend on this job, you know, as my security. I don't want to depend on this certificate as my security, okay? I want to work for myself. I want to have my time freedom, okay? I don't want a, a job to own my life, you know? There was many nurses always fearful that, that, that their license will be taken away. Always fearful that they will lose their license. Always fearful, you know, that it's like, I don't want to live my life in fear. That is not living, okay? So sorry, y'all. My phone got cut off. Uh, my my uh, memory was um, full. My storage was full. Um, but um, just to round it up, you know, I just, I put out these videos to help um, people to understand that, you know, the society that we're living in and the current state of events, you know, the economic state, state of events, um, does not give us the luxury anymore of just keeping a nine to five and the the way to solve it is not getting a second third or fourth job the way to solve it is to learn how to make money when you are not at work okay learn how to make money whether it's via digital marketing whether it's via using your car to make money with um things like apps phone apps and different kind of things um i have a guide it's called how to quit your nine to five and make a full-time income with your car i'm going to link it in the description um i have a um passive riches bundle um it includes eight different templates that you can um customize very low ticket um i'm actually ha i actually have it for sale in my stand store for 47 dollars. so i'll just leave a link to my stand store and you can grab either one um very 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 affordable um, you know, no breaking the bank or not, nothing like that. Um, and this is not just to promote, but this is to help those of you that are looking for a way out of the rat race um, to know that there is a way. OK, I was able to live nursing with being an independent contractor, being a business owner. Um, I have a hair um, mobile braiding business, um, you know, with two customers that are that I have, I'm doing some, um, tomorrow and tomorrow being Monday. Today is Sunday and happy Sunday, by the way. Um, and then another one on Tuesday, right? And then the other days I'm going to work as an independent contractor, you know, with the apps that I, I'm telling you about, okay, that you can start using to make money, okay? So you don't have to do the research yourself. You know, if you are if you pay for the guide, you have over 72 different apps that you can get started with and start making money. If you want to learn digital marketing as a beginner and don't want to pay the $500 for the courses that they have out there, you can get this guide for $47 only. OK, and get all the things that you need to do, including PLR, private, private label rights. So whereby you can customize, make it your own. You don't have to give me any credit. It doesn't matter. OK, make it your own. OK, and resell it. You can resell one of the templates for ninety seven dollars. OK, it is up to you. But ultimately, what I'm saying is this. OK, stop depending on the man. Stop depending on the nine to five. Stop depending on these companies that do not care about you. They do not care about your mortgage. They do not care about your children. They do not care if you're homeless or not. I know you think that they do, but they do not. Do not be like the 55 year old man that found out the hard way, okay? That you cannot be comfortable at these jobs, okay? All right? Read the writing on the wall. Hear the sounding trumpet, okay? All right? We, we are the voice that are crying out to you. All right, do not be like these people that are stuck, right? Because they refuse to um, to adhere, you know, to, to the voices that were telling them, the signs that were all over the place, okay? That that nine to five is not it, okay? That nine to five is not it, okay? Break out, all right? Have the courage, all right, to break out of this rat race so that at the end of the day, you're not, you're not depressed and stuck, like him, the 55 year, year old man. Don't learn the hard way. Smart people learn from other people's mistakes, not from the heart, not the hard way, okay? If you're a young person watching this video, learn. If you're a middle aged person, learn, okay? No matter what state that you are, learn, okay? All right? I'm gonna link the, I'm gonna link the uh, video, um, the, the, the video of the man. I'm gonna link it in my um, description. I'm gonna link uh, my stand store. Um, put a link to my stand store. If you want to grab the guide um, for independent contractor, you know, driving with different apps, you know, whether catering apps, um, I do them all. 
um, you know, things like that or packages, you know, from Walmart and um, Home Depot. I do all of that, you know. It's all in that guide. If you want to do digital marketing and start making passive income without breaking the bank, it's it's called the Passive Riches Bundle. It's right in my stamp store, okay? All right, there's options, okay? So I'm telling you this and I'm giving you options, okay? There are other things that you can do, but I'm telling you what I'm doing that is helping me out, okay? All right, so, um, or you can start a business, okay? Get an LLC, all right? Start running your own business. What are your talents? What are the things that you can do? Do you know how to do nails? Do you know how to do people's hair? You know, start learning how to market. Okay, this is not a time to depend on a nine to five. This nine to five do not care about you, okay? They will kick you out in a second without even a, a, a breath, without even an explanation, okay? And it's back to square zero. If you have kids, you're dragging your kids along, you know, to, to, to suffering for no reason, okay? Learn from, from the 55 year old man that has said that he, he feels stupid because he had 12 years to do something, but he didn't. Stop being comfortable in your comfort zone. It's gonna get you nowhere, okay? This is a sound, you know, it's, it's like in the Bible, um, you know, they talked about um, the, the, the sound, you know, that I was sounding about Christ, you know, sounding about the coming Messiah, you know, the kingdom of God is near. That job is not faithful, okay? The, the, the Bible tells us, you know, um, the Spirit of the Lord has anointed me to, to, to preach the good news to the poor. And what is the good news? That you don't have to be poor anymore. You don't have to be stuck in that 9 to 5 anymore. You don't have to be homeless. It's a choice at this point. Okay? All right? So I feel like God is speaking to me to speak to you right now. And speaking through me to speak to you right now. That you don't have to be like that man. Okay, learn from other people's mistakes. Don't be, don't learn the hard way. That is the worst way to learn, right? So leave your comments, you know, about your job situations, about, you know, whatever it is that you've experienced. Have you been laid off before? What was, what happened? You know, um, you know, let's help each other. Okay. All right. So, um, again, like, subscribe, share, and the whole bit. Um, until next time, stay blessed.